Hey guys, uh, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I've been up to with the rest of this uh, collection update. This is part three. I'm just going to knock this out uh, real quick because uh, I need to get out there and mow the yard before it starts to get a little too hot. So here we go. Here's some things that I sort of overlooked or just forgot to mention. Um, as far as the warped uh, funky forest, warped uh, forest double feature by um, error. 11114, if I'm saying that right. I don't, I don't remember how many ones there are. I think I, anyway, it came with the uh, postcard, which I don't know what to do with, but it's, I don't know, nice to, nice of them to include that. It's pretty interesting. Um, hopefully that maybe that can fit into the keep case. I'm not sure. If not, then uh, this will just be <laughs> in storage, I guess. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I think you're supposed to frame it and maybe hang it up if you wanted to. And then a soundtrack, another one I forgot to show. Um, I just had this off to the side somewhere. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and uh, download this and just, um, yeah, so that way I can be able to play it in my car. I don't have a CD player in my car uh, these days. So I'm uh, not really into CDs too much anymore, but pretty cool that this is included. I do and um, appreciate them including soundtracks with these uh, collector's editions, obviously. So that's cool to have. Uh, don't don't ex probably expect uh, to listen to craziness. So that's that. And then um, I don't know what's going on, but Vinegar Syndrome awesomely sent a replacement disc for this release. This was sent a while back. Uh, for this release here, I'll have to go online and kind of read up. Unless one of you guys know what's up and why the replacement discs were sent. Um, I have yet to watch this. I mean, this isn't part of the update. I've had this for for a little while. Um, just didn't know anything was uh, wrong with it, but I'll have to read up and find out why the replacement discs were sent with this release. But that's cool because I had no idea, and this just was just hit my mailbox. So any of you guys that weren't aware of that, well, there you go. Um, so I, I, I do like it that they just automatically send out replacement discs to those who ordered um so it's just nice not having to make note and keep up uh, with that sort of thing that's uh, another cool thing about um vinegar syndrome all right on to where i last left off going a little out of order i did get a movie in yesterday and that was uh one that i'd just been curious about finally grabbed a copy and it's called doomsday book um from the uh, directors of I Saw the Devil, which is awesome. Uh, great movie. And Hansel and Gretel. This is another fun one. So this looks to be a lot of fun. Check the trailer out. So, yeah, looks pretty creepy in parts. So Doomsday Book. And now we're back on track. Um, I like the first one. So upgrade to 4K. Happy Death Day. Um, pretty fun new slasher movie uh sequel not the biggest fan of the sequel um that ended up being more of a more of a sci-fi comedy really it's kind of took a weird turn for me uh but i do like the first one so happy death day uh next up is hard gore i've never seen this before but it's another one of those infamous uh movies that i've always been curious about so looking forward to checking that out this is coming from my camera with focus uh, massacre video pretty cool I like that it slides out this way I've always like that design and uh awesome looks to be pretty wild so check that out <clears throat> all right next is probably better if i hold it I'm left-handed, so I should be holding the um, phone with this hand. All right, next up is uh, coming from Dark Force Hard Rock Nightmare. Uh, glad to cross this off the uh, list of obscurities. Uh, I've never seen this before, but another werewolf flick I'm looking forward to checking out. Heard it's not the best of werewolf flicks, but I like a lot of them, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have fun with this one. Uh, I dig that. Very nice addition. Really cool looking slip cover. I think the eyes, I have not tried it out yet, but I think the um, eyes are supposed to glow in the dark. 
<laughs> so that's pretty nifty. That's that. And then one of my all-time favorites, Heavy Metal. I include this in with my horror collection just because there's a... Especially with this, um... Oh, uh, what's the uh, hanger segment with the zombies? That, and then the uh, one that's about the court, um, the court case with the guy being prosecuted, and he just turns into this gigantic, monstrous person. And that, that, that one, I remember that one freaking me out with it as a kid and also fascinating me. So, love me some heavy metal, and um, it just sort of reminds me of Creep Show and stuff like that. So, new 4K edition of heavy metal. Had to jump on that and add that into my horror collection. It's a good one. All classic for sure. Um, season one, I think it's the only season that ever happened of um, Hemlock Grove. Another blind buy. Um, yeah, got this from pretty cheap. Um, nice little fat Blu-ray pack. So, Hemlock Grove. Hey, Stop Stabbing Me, uh, released from well, Sister Label, Inter, uh, Intervision, Sister Label of Severn. So, I like to grab these when I can. Uh, this one seemed interesting to me, so I figured I'd check it out. So, Hey, Stop Stabbing Me. It's a funny title. Next is Horror High. This looks to be a cool little low-budget creature feature. Um, some practical effects is what it seems to be, judging from the back there. So checked out the trailer and had to jump on it. So Horror High, I believe it's slip cover is the same as the yeah DVD cover, DVD slip. All right, that's that. Next is <clears throat> Hotel Fear. This looks to be uh, pretty cool. Um, don't there's a synopsis. Don't think I've heard of this one before. I'm not sure. Um, there's a few horror movies with similar titles, so start to get um, start to get which is which nowadays. But Hotel Fear from Mondo Macabro, pretty cool. Comes with a booklet. Open that up. I don't know if I can thumb through that. I think there's some nudity and stuff. So that's that. So Hotel Fear. Uh, finally getting around to uh, House 3. Supposedly this is like fully uncut. Um, I don't know what parts were trimmed as far as the U.S. release that goes by the horror show. Um, this is one I've never really considered it to be a part of the house franchise, but I do think it's interesting that it got the house name over in Europe and the UK. Um, I've always dug that, um, cover art. So yeah, I just finally including this with my house, uh, collection. I've got the house two story box set that Arrow had released for the States, but I never did go after the house, like four story uh, called, uh, cleverly, uh, called four story <laughs> box set so finally getting around to grabbing house three um also known here in the states as the horror show so i'm looking forward to seeing what all is or how much of it was actually cut so that's that and then of course i love this movie house four um i've always liked this movie so finally replacing my old uh, australian double feature dvd i imported that one years ago and I was happy with that one for a while but um since these are um region free releases I went ahead and just grabbed this on the cheap uh house four I'm your pizza man I'm your pizza man or pizza boy or uh, it's been a couple years but I love that scene the Pete the talking pizza scene but this is a fun weird weird little movie so love me some I kind of consider this one to actually be house three but Whatever. So, anyway, I'm rambling. House 4. Then we got House... Uh, another house title. House Sasquatch. That <laughs> looks to be kind of nutty. So, I'll check that out. The Ice Demon. 
Uh, yeah, my brain just turned to mush when I saw the cool, crazy looking pinhead hellraisery looking cover art here. So, and the title's really cool, the Ice Demon. It's funny how I still think like I'm 12 years old in the video store as far as how I go about collecting horror movies. It only takes me to to, to cover art and the title of a movie and the synopsis, and I'm pretty much hooked and I want to check it out. So, this looks pretty cool. So, the Ice Demon. Uh, finally found a standalone release of Identity. Haven't seen this one in a, some years. So, Identity. Been a while. And then this one looked really cool. Never heard of it. It's a whole Russian uh, adventure, fantasy, um, horror elements. It's got creatures in it, a dragon in it. So, I'm probably going to not say that right. I'm just going to call it by its other title, The Sword and the Dragon. Um... So, it looked to be pretty cool. So, another one from, um, I think one of the partner labels of Vinegar Syndrome. I don't remember because I can't see where it says that. You guys know. You collectors out there. So, grab that. Uh, here's another one. Um, Immortality. Another one I found out in the wild. I don't remember if it was Second and Charles or one of the other stores that I go to. Um every other weekend I try so Immortality on Blu-ray It Came From the Desert from Raven Banner every now and then I'll pick up some Raven Banner so here's another one um, probably keep my DVD of that one that was released by Orchard um, for collector's purposes that's a nice addition um, but I'll probably have to put that in storage so anyway Blu-ray upgrade of it came from the desert based on the old video game, which is weird. Uh, I don't think that was really that much of a popular video game at the time. I could be wrong. I'm not a big video game guy. But anyway, it came from the desert. Jester. Another one from... I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, SCS Entertainment. Looked to be a lot of low-budget fun. Another little doll, killer doll, low-budget movie. So, Jester. Here is John and the Hole. Looks to be intense. It's got some good reviews um, from what I've seen, so i check that out when I can. John and the Hole. Juan of the Dead. Um, late to the party, another one. Another zomb zombie that I've been on the fence about for several years and um i finally decided to track down a copy and this one was kind of a pain in the ass to be honest if i'm to be honest at least for me it was kind of a pain to find a, the blu-ray edition of this so Ju juan of the dead i don't know who released this one e yeah e1 entertainment i pick up those every now and then from that company uh, another one i cherry pick from which isn't that often. It's got a lot of re good, good reviews on that one too. I'm always late to the party when it comes to like zombie comedies. I'm very, I'm always iffy about uh, a lot of those. All right. Um, Kicking Blood, a vampire love story. Looks to be awesome. Cool. Who released this? Not too familiar with them. I think this might have been another Diabolic. Um, or maybe I had maybe ordered this from Grindhouse Video. I don't remember. It's, it's been a while. So Kicking Blood. Kill It and Leave This Town. Seem interesting to me. Figured I would check this one out. I read up on it. Caught a few reviews, and it just interested me. And the cover art here is very, for at least for me at least, is very hypnotizing <laughs> for some reason. So kill it and leave this and leave the uh, town. Uh, Clout, another one I'd been on the fence about, released by Criterion. Um, not too long ago. Love Donald Sutherland, great actor. And uh, Jane Fonda. 
a cool little sort of paranoia thriller movie. Looking forward to checking out the crime that I've never seen this before, but um, there you go. So completely new to me. And then I grabbed this one on the cheap called The Lesson. Looks to be intense. It's another one of the newer ones released by Scream Factory. The Lesson. Ah, next up is Let the Wrong One In. Newer vampire flick from Dark. Dark Sky Films. Appreciate the uh, hand-drawn, hand-painted cover art. I always appreciate that. So that's what, if I'm to be honest, reeled me in. And uh, it's just a spoof title right there. It reminds me of uh, Let the Right One In, but this one's Let the Wrong One In. So we'll see. I'm spoofing on uh, that amazing movie called Let the um, Right and Let the Yeah, Let the Right One In. It's been a while. I need to watch that movie. It's actually been way too long. Um, I don't even remember the. Uh, I remember watching the remake and enjoying that one as well. But I'm rambling. I'm getting off track. So that's that. A new uh, vampire comedy. So check that out when I can. And then the 4K of Li uh, Life Force, which is only 4K for. Um, at least the, is it just the theatrical and the directors is just blu-ray only for this edition um crazy this has gotten multiple releases and now it's made its way um on the 4k so life force uh, i need to re this is another one i need to revisit i it's been by a couple years since i've watched this one now another one i've always enjoyed the a alien vampires now um pretty cool little uh yeah, Toby Hooper flick. So, Life Force. And then, uh, this is another pain in the ass for me to track down. This one's been on my wish list for a, a way too long. And that's uh, a weird one called uh, Little Otic. Um, that little baby, um, baby man-eating plant. It's done in a very stylish, artistic dark comedy kind of way i've only seen it once and that was a while back and i watched it uh somebody had uploaded it either onto youtube or i watched it on one of the um forget which site but yeah finally glad to add this to the collection um and just lucked out and found this for actually for, for um pretty cheap so a little optic if i'm saying that right i'm probably not but that's that uh the long night this one was pretty good. I enjoyed this one. Um, I watched this one recently. Good atmospheric uh, little movie creeper. So don't sleep on this one. Um, I can recommend this one. So The Long Night. Uh, another uh, alien UFO sort of documentary done in a pretty funny sort of style. Love and Saucers. And I love that uh, painting, the image here on the back. Uh, that's awesome. So, looking forward to checking this one out. Love and Saucers. Uh, Madness. Cool title. A few movies that share that same title. So, definitely need me some Fulci's Madness if that ever comes about. But, this is another one from SCS Entertainment. Madness. Uh, blind buy. Don't know what to expect. Again, a, a low budget um, horror movie. Uh, I'm probably going to say this one wrong. This is um, Malefic Malef Malef Malefic Malefic um, Another one off my uh, old wish list. I grabbed this one for pretty cheap, so probably because of Blu rays around the corner. <laughs> but another one that I'd been on the hunt for. Uh, way too long. Finally, happy to add this into my horror collection. Um, so cool. That. And then I had to uh, love this movie, and I love the fact that they went with this uh, 
this poster art instead. The Blu-ray went with another image, which was okay, uh, pretty stylish, but this one is the better uh, cover art, and uh, I'm happy that they went for this for the um, the 4K edition. So I had to double dip. Uh, really crazy, bonkers, wild, not just nutty, fun um, B movie, but with a big budget movie. Uh, movie. I uh, love this movie. So I had to, this is a no brainer. I had to get this again. So malignant. And then we got, um, finally added in my horror collection Man Bites Dog. Uh, another one of those. I don't know what's taken so long for it to make the leap on the Blu ray, but if I come across uh, DVDs for like, you know, a good price, I'm going to, and I don't have it. I'm going to I'm going to jump on it. So, Man Bites Dog finally added into my horror collection. I've never seen that before though. So, I know I need to. I know that's um there's nothing but positive reviews on that movie. So, it's one of those uh cult classics, I guess. And then uh this was pretty cool. Uh ooh, I don't know if I could show that, but uh Maniac Driver. Can I show the back? Yeah, Maniac Driver. Um, this one's a newer one from Real Gore. I like uh, another uh, company that's very exciting to keep an eye on what they're doing. So Maniac Driver, pretty cool. So I hear this one's pretty, gets pretty nutty as well. So check that out. And then um, I'll finish up the M's. I'll do that. Just go through that and then I'll, I'll do a part four when I can. So... Uh, Nice uh, collector's edition of Mardi Gras Massacre. Another movie that's just okay. And another one that I just don't know why I keep going after on. I've got too many copies of this particular movie here. But this is a pretty sweet collector's edition. Thanks to Severin. So, had to get that. I do dig that new uh, uh, slipcover. So, another one I haven't seen in forever. And I'll just... I'll probably just end up watching the special features on this one. Um, I'll just fix that later. I can't do that now. All right. Next one is, uh, again, I don't know why. Some are DVD only and some are, you know, Blu-ray. Make it to Blu-ray. It's weird with Shudder. But Martyr's Lane, this one's just another one that seemed really interesting to me. And, um, yeah, Martyr's Lane. Pretty cool title for a movie. Uh, check that out when I can. So... My unwatched pile is, it gets kind of stupid, so <laughs> I have to, I'm always late to the point. I might have the movie in my collection, but it'll probably take me a couple years to finally get around to some of these. That's just how it is. But Martyr's Lane, another one from Shudder. Um, Midnight, this one seems pretty cool. This is coming from Epic Pictures. So Midnight. And then I really got to hurry up and get out there, guys, and... Before it gets too hot and mow my yard, so sorry if I'm going through this a little too fast. Uh, Midnight Express, a nice digi book, Blu-ray collector's edition, uh, based on a true story. Um, yeah, I've been curious about this one, and finally this popped up for like a really good price. So um, I don't, it's not out of print or anything, but for some reason, I guess because it's a digi book, it goes for, it just goes for a high price usually. But nice little, I love these digi books. I mean, they don't really do too many of these. But um, I like it when it does happen, though. It's just, uh, I've always liked this uh, this style of packaging, um, the Digibook. But anyway, Midnight Express, a pretty intense movie from what I've read. And another one that I know is a crime that I've never seen before. But, hey, better late than never. So I'm looking forward to checking out Midnight Express. Uh, finally grabbed a cheap copy of Mine Hunters. A futuristic sci-fi thriller going after a crazy serial killer um, has LL Cool J, Tommy Lee Miller, some of these names, Val Kilmer. I mean, that's the only but Christian Slater. Okay, all right, that's a that's a good cast. Uh, so, Mine Hunters. I've never seen this before. This was actually recommended to me like several years ago. I made note of it, but it was just it just happens to be one of those movies I just keep. Passing up, passing up, and going after other movies. That's just how it is with this hobby. But anyway, uh, thanks to whoever you are for the recommendation. Um, this was years and years ago. So, um, 
uh, whoever, uh, I forget, it was so long, I apologize, but I don't remember the names, but, yep, Mine Hunters. I uh, went after a cheap copy of uh, another one that I don't know when it's ever going to hit. Um, actually, this did hit Blu-ray uh, from Image Entertainment like years and years ago. But the DVD, I mean the Blu-ray is kind of a, it's another one that's a pain in the ass to track down. Uh, I don't know if it was a <clears throat> decent a Blu-ray edition or not, but I'd still like to have it. But till then, um, this is just, it's just nice to have a copy. So I've got this one and I love this cover art. So I went with this particular one. I'll probably double dip and go after the other edition just because um, it's a newer DVD. Uh, this is one of the early early days of DVD, but I went after this particular one because I love this image of Jamie Lee Curtis. And Mother's Boys is a cool, um, cool little thriller. So that's that. Uh, Murder in a Blue World. Um, this looks pretty interesting. I've never heard of it before. Um, who's this coming from? Cauldron. Ah, love Cauldron. Love what they're doing. And that's another new label that is very exciting to keep, keep an eye on. See what their, what Cauldron's up to. I think that's uh, Jesse from Diabolic's own, uh, label that he created. Oh, so pretty cool. I did, I definitely grabbed me a, a t-shirt, Cauldron. I had to get a Cauldron shirt. So, um, kind of addicted to grabbing, uh, label shirts lately, so. Anyway, Murder, Murder in a Blue World looks pretty cool. Um, very nice addition. So, check that out when I can. And then, uh, getting near, near the end of the M section here. Uh, another one from Troma, Mutant Blast. Uh, looks to be a lot of fun. Let's check that out. And yeah, my apology, guys, if I'm talking too, too fast. I'm just trying to whip out a quick part three for you, for me, too, and uh, get out there and mow my lawn. So that's Mutant Blast from Troma, a new one. Looks to be a lot of fun. And then last for the M section for now is uh, Mute Witness. This is one I found out in the wild last weekend. Been a while since I'd seen this one. Another... Uh, 90s i think it's from the 90s another thriller uh now marked off my wish list so mute witness and that is going to be part three and then i'll do a part uh four maybe maybe it'll just be one through four and it won't be a part five so um thanks guys i appreciate your time and uh yeah keep collecting and uh later <laughs>